guys! Today I'm reviewing the Ninja Hot and Cold Brewed System. With this Ninja you can make coffee, tea with tea bags or loose leaf tea, cold brew, and froth milk. There's a lot to cover with this Ninja. I'll give you as much info as I can so it's easier for you to use. Ninja provided the sample so I can tell you what I think of it. It's 15 inches tall, 11 inches wide, and 9.5 inches deep. The cord length is 29 inches. The unit comes with two filter holders, one for coffee with an orange coffee bean icon, and one for tea with the green tea leaf icon. Each comes with a permanent filter, this one for tea. It sits right in the middle of the holder. And this one for coffee. A stainless steel thermal carafe with lid. Just twist the lid on to close. The thermal carafe is not dishwasher safe. All the other parts are top rack dishwasher safe. The carafe holds 50 ounces. The water reservoir has a flip top lid. The lid is removable. The reservoir is marked with minimum and maximum fill lines. The minimum fill line for a cup, another line for a travel mug, another line for half a carafe, and the max line for full carafe. A scoop for coffee and tea. There are markings on it, so it's easy to know how much tea and coffee to use when you're brewing. This is the frother for milk, a quick start guide, instruction manual, and a recipe book with 40 recipes for coffee and tea. For specialty coffees, over ice, hot drinks, and iced tea. To set the time, there's an hour button and a minute button. Just keep pressing until you set the time that you want. It'll beep after a few seconds and the time will be set. This is the drip stop button. You can press it while brewing a carafe or a half carafe to stop the flow and pour a cup. Press it again to finish brewing. This is the delay brew button. You can program up to 24 hours ahead for automatic brewing. When you select tea or coffee, tea or coffee will be lit up here. You can't see it now because I haven't selected anything. It'll light up depending on which filter you put in the brew basket. The dial lets you choose how much you want to brew. First option here is a cup, which is nine and a half ounces. The XL cup, which is 11 and a half ounces. The travel mug, which is 14 ounces. XL multi-serve, which is 18 ounces. A half carafe and a full carafe. The ounces I just gave you are for the classic brew type. Use the start select dial to change the brew type. Rich is stronger, about an ounce less than the amounts I gave you earlier. So a cup of classic coffee would be nine and a half ounces and rich would give you 8.7 ounces. Over ice will give you 4.8 ounces. Cold brew is brewed at a lower temperature and a longer time. It'll give you 4.8 ounces. There is a chart in the manual with volumes and measurements for coffee and tea. To brew a cup, you need two to three small scoops, which is two to three tablespoons. For cold brew, always add one extra scoop. Cup and over ice brew uses the same amount of coffee, just the yield is different. Then you have the tea types on the right. Press T. There's herbal, black, oolong, white, and green. Specialty brew is a concentrate and will give you four ounces of coffee and six ounces of tea, except for green tea, which is two ounces. Here's the tea button to choose a type of tea, power button to turn the machine on, the start select dial to start brewing, or to select any of these options. The clean button will illuminate when the unit senses there's buildup and there are cleaning instructions in the manual. This Ninja will shut off automatically after one hour if you haven't used it. The water reservoir has a grip. You can pull up the reservoir to remove it. Slides right in. Pull the arm out and you can froth milk. There's a button on top that you push down and hold to froth milk. Just twist and remove the frother for cleaning. You can store the scoop on the side of the unit. The unit is tall, but it fits under my cabinets. And there's no part to pull up, it just slides out. So you don't have to worry about any extra height. If you want to brew a cup, remove the carafe and pull down the platform. You can set your cup on top. There's five and three quarters inches of space to fit your cup. If you want to brew the travel mug size, 
You can fit a travel mug about eight inches tall. When you first get the unit, wash all the parts in warm soapy water and dry. Before making coffee or tea for the first time, you have to run two full carafe classic brew cycles with just water. Always use filtered water. The unit's plugged in, open the lid, fill with water to the max line, close the lid, put the carafe in with the lid, slide out the basket, put the coffee filter holder in, and the coffee filter, and slide to close. Press the power button. It'll display coffee since we're using the coffee filter. And the full carafe is already selected. Classic is already selected. Just press start. This is the progress bar. It'll show you the status of the brewing cycle. The cycle ended and was displayed. Now I'll discard this water, fill the reservoir again with filtered water, run another cycle. So I've finished the two full Carafe Classic brew cycles with just water. Now we can brew coffee. Slide out the basket. The orange coffee filter holder and the permanent filter are in. If you don't want to use the permanent filter, you can use a number four paper cone filter. Use one or the other, don't use both. Use a medium grind for whole coffee beans, not a fine grind. I'll brew half a carafe, so I need three to four big scoops of coffee. I'm using four big scoops. Slide the basket back. The carafe with lid goes under the basket. I put water in the reservoir, press the power button, choose half craft. Classic is already lit up. Just press the start button. It is very loud in the beginning. It took five minutes to brew. The cycle ended and was displayed and you heard the beeps. So it was done brewing at five minutes, but the cycle takes another minute to end. I'm sure you could take the uh, carafe off after five minutes and pour it, it should be fine. The bottom of the unit is not hot. The coffee is about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to try out this ninja, I've put a link in the description below. It's a good cup of coffee. So the half a carafe is going to give you 32 ounces of coffee. Slide the basket out. Take out the filter and discard the grounds. I'll rinse out the filter and then we'll make a cup of coffee. Put the filter back in. To make a cup of coffee, it's two to three small scoops. I'll use two and a half scoops. I've put more water in the reservoir. Pull the platform down. Put your cup on the platform. Turn the dial to cup. Classic is already lit up. And just press start. Initially when brewing, it's very loud, and then it just sounds like a regular coffee maker. For the water to stop flowing, it took 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Although end is not displayed, you can remove the cup because no more water is coming out. Tastes like a decent cup of coffee. Brewing with a cup setting gives you a little bit over 10 ounces. Make sure the cup you're using can hold 12 ounces when you brew a cup. Next we'll froth milk and make a specialty drink. 
If you want your froth milk to be hot, you do have to heat it up first before frothing. The unit's not going to heat up the milk for you. If you want to make cold froth, just use cold milk. I've put the platform down and put my cup on it. I've washed out the holder and the filter. Put two big scoops of coffee for specialty brew. To froth milk, pull the arm out. The frother should sit right below the surface of the milk just like this, and you'd push down this button, hold it for 30 to 45 seconds. Choose specialty. You don't have to choose a size because it's only going to brew four ounces for coffee. And press start. Froth milk is ready. Rinse out the frother. Specialty coffee is done brewing. The amount of milk you froth depends on the type of drink you're making. It's nice that you can froth milk and brew the coffee at the same time. Of course, this is not a real espresso. It's just very concentrated coffee. It's giving you a little less than half of a regular cup of coffee. It tastes pretty good. I've taken out the coffee filter. Here's the tea filter and the tea holder. The handle sits right where the silver part ends. Just like that. If you're using tea bags, you don't have to use the little filter inside the holder. On the scoop, the coffee measurements are on one side and the tea measurements are on the other side. I'm going to brew one cup of tea, so I just need one small scoop of tea leaves. I'm using loose leaf black tea. Pull the platform down. Power it on. Cup is already chosen. Classic is chosen. To choose the type of tea, press the tea button and you can select it using the dial. Select it black. If the side is not lit up, press the T button again so it won't be lit up and then you can use the dial to choose whatever you want from this side. And I'll just press start. About two minutes went by before I started brewing. It took a little over four minutes to brew the cup of tea. It's a pretty good cup of tea. When you pull the filter out, hold this holder upright and just pull it up slowly. Um, last time I was holding it at an angle over the garbage can, popped this out too hard and the tea leaves went all over the place. So you saw a lot of what this ninja can do. One thing I noticed is there's no drip tray like in standard coffee maker. So if something does overflow, it's gonna be all over the coffee maker and not going into the drip tray, which would be neater. This is a large machine like most all-in-one beverage units. This Ninja is taller than the K-Cafe and the K-Cafe is wider than the Ninja. The K-Cafe cannot do carafes and the Ninja doesn't take K-Cups. So it's not really a fair comparison. The Ninja gives you many options for tea, coffee, frothing milk, and specialty brews. One thing it doesn't do is heat up cold milk. So you do have to heat it up before you froth it. I like the carafe. It's stainless steel. It looks good. It's got a sturdy handle. It's great to have a separate filter for coffee and tea. It saves you time from cleaning the coffee filter and running water in between brews so your tea doesn't taste like coffee. If you want to try out this Ninja, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.